Hello friends, Ledger2JZ here back with another video for you guys. Today I want to go over a few things that I've come to love, I've come to hate, after owning my Mark IV Supra for three years now. Now before you guys get on my ass, let me explain. Yes, there are a few things I hate about this car. However, this is the best car I've ever owned. This is my most favorite car that I've ever owned, and it's a car that I'm never getting rid of. So the first thing I want to point out about this car that I absolutely hate, you guys are going to probably call me stupid or weird, there's no cup holders at all. There's somebody right now thinking to themselves, dude, you're driving a Supra. What are you worried about cup holders for? It's convenient. I don't want to have to give my passenger a drink every time I want to get something from the gas station. I don't want to have to put something between my legs and then take a corner and have it spill all over my nuts. I just want to be able to stick it in a cup holder and go about my business. There is this ashtray that you can use. You can just pull it out, stick a drink in there but you can only fit something so big and it's not even tight. It's kind of just flops around in there where you got to push it in and it squeezes the sides and it comes out. It's just a nightmare. The second thing that drives me absolutely insane about these cars is the wheel fitment. You cannot fit aggressive wheels on this car at all. They're all going to be positive offset, high positive offset wheels like plus 35, plus 40, plus 50, plus 55. You can't fit anything that's like under a 30. So for somebody like me, a guy that loves wheels and goes through them like diapers on a baby, it makes it really, really difficult for me to find wheels that fit and that look good to put on my car. I do love my GTs, but I do wish that I could run a wider wheel so I could run wider tires. Now, the third thing I hate about this car has nothing to do with the car itself. It's the attention that the car brings. I get it a lot. And I'm almost positive every super owner will agree with me on this unless they absolutely crave attention. Me personally, I hate attention. My girlfriend hates attention. So whenever it happens to us, it makes us feel very awkward. Is that a Supra? Is that a Supra? Do a burnout, two-step it, do two-step. It's very, very annoying. It makes me very uncomfortable. It makes my girlfriend uncomfortable. And it's just not funny. It's never been funny. It'll never be funny. I get it's a cool car. It's rare. You want to be that guy but you're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. It, it's very, very frustrating to try and have a peaceful afternoon or go to a car meet and kind of just chill. When 30 people are yelling at you to do a burnout or to two-step it or yelling, is that a Supra? Like I haven't heard it a thousand times. I love when people come up to me and talk to me about the car. I absolutely love when people appreciate the car and want to take pictures. They want to sit in it, even go for a ride. But when you want me to do just ignorant, dumb stuff, it's kind of annoying. Now, as far as the things that I love about this car goes, that list can go on and on and on for days. Let me show you guys a few things that really stand out to me and make this car extremely special in my opinion. One of the reasons why I love this car so damn much is the badass fighter jet cockpit style interior. It is just a classy, timeless, perfectly styled interior. All the materials that were used are really, really high quality. Everything is super, super simple. Everything conforms to you. It's just a perfect design by Toyota, and it's, it's just awesome in my opinion. Another reason why I absolutely love this car, as if you didn't already know that this was coming, is this badass bitch right here. The OG of OGs, the two Jay-Z. To say these motors are indestructible is an understatement. I've ran this motor completely bone dry with no oil. I've detonated this motor with bad ignition timing. I've overheated this motor multiple times. It still runs brand new like it just came out of the factory. And this isn't even the good 2J. This is the non-turbo. It's not supposed to have that big ass turbo and these powerful ass ignition coils, these big ass fuel injectors and all this fuel with E85 and everything. In line six, cast iron block, factory turbo, Toyota knew exactly what they were doing. I gotta tip my hat to Toyota and Yamaha. They did an incredible job on one of the best motors of all time. One of the neighbors came outside and we started talking and kind of just lost track of time. By the time we got done, it was already dark. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here, get it edited and uploaded for you guys. I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you in the next one.